From Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader, this is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Wendy Ryan. Dennis has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment. But first, share your ABC Action News Now headlines. Two men are recovering after an explosion at Raymond James Stadium. Tampa police tell us they were working on a gas line when a spark ignited, triggering the blast. No one else was hurt. There's structural damage to the complex, and the workers are expected to make a full recovery. A man is in trouble with the law after driving his golf cart inside a local Walmart. Deputies say Michael Hudson was blocking the liquor store entrance. After refusing to leave, when deputies arrived, he floored it, hitting several customers and crashing the cart through the glass front doors, ultimately crashing into a cash register inside. He faces several charges tonight. A number of cust customers were hurt, but not serious enough to be hospitalized. More egrets are turning up in a local community with splotches of paint on them. Neighbors believe someone is continuing to shoot these federally protected birds with a paintball gun. We first told you about this happening in the South Pasadena area just a few weeks ago. These are new pictures showing it is still happening. When we first brought you the story back in July, Florida Fish and Wildlife told us it was investigating. Abusing or hurting state protected egrets is illegal. And now here's Dennis with Florida's most accurate forecast. Dennis. Hey, don't everybody scattered showers across the area. The rain start in the overnight hours, move into our coastal areas before sunrise and then get a little heavier as they go through the afternoon and move inland. So same kind of setup on Friday. A few isolated showers early on in the day. The heaviest weather east. I do think rain chances bump up just a bit this weekend. Timing won't change, meaning a mixture of clouds and sun with some showers earlier in the day. So not nearly as sunny as when we get more of our traditional easterly flow. But the good news is the severe threat is much lower with this kind of a pattern. All right, thanks, Dennis. Don't forget, you can get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device. And remember to download our free ABC Action News app.